brand new Lamborghini. Cause I got with a pistol on my head like I'm a cop. Have you ever met a real good rock star? This ain't no guitar, this is. Think of Kenya's going for for uh, a sphere drinking. Mm. Yeah, Drink, drinking spree. Drinking spree. Yeah. Yet most of most of the common man people are struggling to make ends meet. I don't know what about the economy. There's something wrong with the economy because everywhere I go, mm. I literally I literally have to find people complaining. Somebody is saying, "Oh, it's oh oh plus one zero zero <laughs> pattern. The eating patterns. <laughs> yeah, the economy has been tough uh, actually because now it forces you to do the pattern thing. Uh-huh. Zero zero one. You zero know, zero, zero one, one is uh, zero zero one. Uh, I hear that if you you don't go for breakfast, no breakfast, no <laughs> no lunch, lunch. and supper. Zero, supper is one. So supper is one. Yeah. Zero zero one. Yeah, but there, <laughs> there's no, there, there must always be a zero in between. There must be a zero. Yeah, so, there's no one on one. Yeah. So okay. the economy has been really tough actually. Why is the economy tough yet? Our yeah. GDP has grown and our economy is actually being named as one of the most successful economy in Africa and actually. Mm. Our, our economy ourselves as Kenyans is the, is most successful in East Africa. True, true, that's very true. It has actually grown from, to a GBT of 6.5 or 7.5 there. Not sure of the figures, but it's 7.5, yeah, 7.5. Coming to think of it, Nairobi's economy actually is among the top in Africa. Among the, you know, they always compare the GDPs and stuff. Mm-hmm. And our economy is actually good, but... Then what is, what's happening? What's the happening to the common man? It's very hard to uh, the common man, Nainchi. Mm-hmm. And this is being caused by both the external factors and internal factors or the domestic factors. So there are actually things that the common manager can actually reason out and know what's af- what's affecting is because most the thing I've realized with most people are talking about it, mm. they're not aware of what they're ever or whatever they're talking about, or, or and they're not aware of whatever is bring is bringing the bad situation at home. Mm-hmm. They're not aware of what what can, what can be actually affecting. It. Mm, coming to think of it, actually, mm-hmm. one of the main factors that actually has been causing this rise in economy mm-hmm. is the is it rise in economy or or the rise of the in in living standards of the common man? Oh, the living standards yeah. are the one which are actually should being be affected. Up. Yeah, true. Because yeah. you feel like the basic commodities prices are really rising up, and one of the factors I narrowed down to was that. The war, there's been a war actually. The war in Russia. Yeah, the war in Russia and Ukraine okay. is okay. like one of the main causes of the rising cost of the basic commodities. Cost of living. Yeah. Some, most people actually. Because when you look at countries like Russia and Ukraine, Russia almost exports like one, one of the largest oil to the world. They are the li- largest the exporters. E- exporters of crude oil. Yeah, true. Oh, nice. And Ukraine also supplies like some of Wheat to Kenya. So the the wheat that is grown in Kenya doesn't actually manage to sustain most Kenyans. We have to import from Ukraine. From Ukraine. Yeah, because you know no, them, no. they produce them in large factories. In large. So that's one of the main causes actually. We so within the war, the way the wheat transmission is actually happening because people are fleeing from Ukraine. Eh? Uh, you know, the Russia was actually sanctioned, so they can't export anything yeah, they or they can't import anything. That's why the petroleum products are really rising. And you find that this is really causing a high cost of living in most countries, actually. What can actually be the other factor? Because if one, one thing leads to the other, mm-hmm. there must be something else that yeah. is actually bringing this problem to the common man, isn't you? There was another one actually. You know, like our country always takes loans from other countries. Oh, grants, yeah. Huh? yeah, grants and loans. So during the COVID, actually, the IMA suspended Kenya, paying servicing most of their loans actually. During that time, actually, Kenya was suspended from paying or servicing their loans. So they can't. They're not, they can't. Yeah, they were given a break because they understood that the economy was not running. So, the, uh, so in short, they have to pay. Finish paying the loans yeah yeah. They do so have after the Kenyan op- opening the economy, the IMF ordered that they start resurfacing their loans. So this really caused the government to increase the VAT on goods. Oh, that's the reason they've been high taxation. Yeah yeah yeah. So they, they can service yeah. the loans that they were paying once before. So I think that's also another thing that has been causing this cost of living to really be high. And from what from what I can I can actually listen on the ground. Mm-hmm. Uh, we are headed to general election. Uh, true, true. Though life is very hard for most people who do vote. Mm-hmm. Actually, the majority of, of Kenyans who vote are mm-hmm. the ones who are actually suffering right now. 
Uh-huh. Do you think this is going to to hinder most most people from voting? Mm, the cost of living, yeah. Because people have been voting so that their life can be easier. Better. Yeah. I don't think I don't think life is not, is going to be any any easy soon. Different. Yeah. It's gonna it's not going to going to be different because mm. this if our economy is growing and mm-hmm. yet people are suffering believe me it's going to happen even even in the next government so mm-hmm. whatever i think people should do mm-hmm. people should just uh, get used to it mm-hmm. adapt um, get new ways of survival find, find solutions find solutions because mm-hmm. the government is not going to help true true that's that's something for sure we do know mm-hmm. and people should actually grasp that and live with that the government is not going to help so you start taking care of yourselves and as you know at the Kenyan Forge we'll be speaking about more of these topics we'll actually be enlightening you educating you creating those awareness for you guys so stay locked stay locked and watch for more and wait until our next episode because we'll be giving you everything that you need